are a long way away from Australia today, but your presence here reminds me how much smaller the world gets every day. And from, from one air in the Northern Territory, almost 9,000 kilometres away, to be here studying at the Great Centurion University and learning, I think for six months, is that right? In textiles is just one example of what Minister Pradhan and I hope to see much, much, much more of in the years to come. Australians studying in India and more Indians studying in Australia. And this agreement that we signed today is all about that. Making it easier for more people to study in different countries and having qualifications recognised so that that happens. Minister Pradhan, my friend, thank you very, very much for first your kind invitation to visit India. When we met in August last year, we talked a lot about our two countries and you invited me to come to India to sign this agreement today. This is a really important agreement. It sets the rules for mutual recognition of not just university qualifications but also vocational qualifications and school qualifications in both of our countries. And it's the broadest agreement that India has ever signed with another country. And as I said, we'll make it so much easier for students in both of our countries to study in either country knowing that what they learn and the qualifications they receive will be recognised in our two countries. I, I said when Minister Pradhan and I visited a school in Delhi yesterday that in some respects India and Australia are very different countries. India is about to become the most populous nation in the world. More people than any other country in the world, including China. And that there are as many nine-year-olds in India today as there are people in Australia. Every month in India, one million people turn 18. And that means more people heading into the workforce, looking for jobs and businesses and opportunity. And that makes the Indian government's national education policy, developed by Prime Minister Modi and being implemented by my friend Damendra Pradhan, so important. It is breathtaking in its scale. It will transform India. The jobs and the businesses it will create, the economic productivity that it will drive. Demendra, you talk about our jobs being the mother portfolio. The education portfolio is the, the portfolio that creates all the opportunities in our countries. But the other metaphor that also rings true, as we said in our meeting today, is it is the engine room of our economy, creating the skills for the jobs of the future that create the businesses of the future and that drive productivity and transform our countries. We all know individually that our lives were changed by our experience at school or at TAFE or at university and the ambition that India has to have 50% of young people in their 20s or 30s be in vocational education or higher education by 2035 will set India up as an economic superpower of this century. And when Minister Pradhan was in Australia last year, you didn't just issue an invitation for me to come to India, but you issued a challenge to Australian universities to be part of this. 
And I think, Minister, you've seen that we have responded to that challenge. I lead a delegation of 10 university vice-chancellors, deputy vice-chancellors, provosts, the chief executives of many university peak groups, our university and higher education regulator. It shows that we listen very seriously to your challenge and are keen to meet it. There are universities, Australian universities, that already offer courses in, Australia, in Indian universities. There is the opportunity now, with the great reforms being undertaken by yourself, to set up campuses in places like Gift City and potentially other places as well, to develop dual degrees. And the work that RMIT and BITS are doing is a great example of that, where you can get a degree from two universities at the same time, do two years in India and two years in Australia. And there are universities who have never had a presence in India before that are setting up offices this week as well. All of the universities here are here to listen and to learn and to work together with Indian counterparts. The MOUs that were signed just a moment ago are proof of that. This is just one example, I think, of the depth and the seriousness of the relationship between our two countries. And you will see more evidence of that next week when Prime Minister Anthony Albanese, the Australian Prime Minister, visits India and meets with Prime Minister Modi on the cricket field, but also in meetings like this with more significant announcements to come. Minister Pradhan, thank you again for the invitation to be here. Thank you for the work that we are doing together on behalf of our two great countries. And I very, very much look forward to visiting India again in the next few months with my colleague, Minister Brendan O'Connor, the Minister for Skills, to continue the work that we have started.